everybody. Uh, Carl back again, uh, and this is uh, part two of this uh, this little deal about what I'm going to be going through. And this one, uh, this part two, I want to explain a little bit better about what this uh, aneurysm thing is that I'm going to have done. Now, uh, it is called an endovascular abdominal aortic aneurysm repair. Uh, that's a lot of words, so let's see, what do they do? They call it this. Let me kick this up here. There you go. They call it EVAR, all right? And that's a whole lot easier <laughs> than that than that other one thing, you know? So, uh, I wanted to sh I wanted to show you that, and uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm using the uh, OBS Studio to try to make this uh, a little bit better for us, so I can do kind of a presentation. I can't I don't have a stick that I can show you certain things, but I from the drawings that I or from the illustrations, I thought we should we would be able to uh, see it okay. So. Uh, now I've got a couple, uh, like I said, a couple illustrations, and I'm going to try to explain what this uh, aneurysm deal is all about. And as I mentioned before, uh, down the road, you know, you might find that you have one of these, or uh, somebody in your family, uh, your friends, you know, a loved one that you care about may experience this. And this might give you just a little bit better idea of what they are. And, I, you know, anytime you're informed about this stuff, it makes things a lot better. You know, sometimes you go, ooh, I wish I had known that. But really, you know, uh, the more you're informed, the better off you are. So, uh, let me kick this over. Now, when we talk about the aorta, aorta, a the aorta and all that, uh, what are we talking about? Well, okay. Here in the diagram, you see how the at the top, that's your main aorta that comes out of the heart. And then and it goes different places. The upper aorta takes care of the upper part of the body. But then you see the lower one dropping down, and it drops down past the kidneys. And it keeps going, and then it spreads out, kind of like an upside-down slingshot there, right? And that's where then the blood is fed into your legs. And uh, uh, when everything's good, it's, you know, it's, it's a nice, strong artery. But now let me, uh, on. let me get this going here and we will uh, go to the next one. Okay, now, let me put this one up. All right, when you have an aneurysm, if you see the dark blue arrow, that is where the something's happened through pressure or whatever, you know, whatever caused it, it creates a weakness in the artery. And when that happens, it kind of pops out like a balloon. And uh, if you look over to the left, you'll see how it actually does. And, you know, we think of the artery as just one piece, but actually there's several layers in there. And uh, sometimes the outer layer gets pushed out more than the, the middle layer, and it even creates areas in between, and you can get leakage. And, and if it weakens too much, it will actually, it can burst. So, now, my situation... I have the, the main one where the dark blue arrow is, but then also where it branches out in the bottom, uh, and we call those, those lower branches iliacs. One goes to the right leg, one goes to the left. I actually have one in each leg down there. And so what they're going to do is uh, they are going to um, run a stint, and I'm going to show you the stint here in a second, and they're, what they do is, is they make an insertion in the groin, and in my case they're going to do it on both sides. And then they, they have this stent that 
uh, here let me not tell you what let me um, let me let me get the, the stint up here so I can show you that and then I can explain it a little bit better one minute here okay here we go okay now this is what the stent kind of looks like when it's put into you and uh, some of you older guys might remember this I don't know if the younger ones will but there used to be this thing that, that we would we would have they were called uh, uh, a Mexican finger lock and what it was is it was like this this deal that was weaved it was a tube that was weaved and you stick your fingers in it and when you'd pull them apart that weaving would tighten and it would like hold your fingers you know and it kind of locked you in and uh, I don't know if they even have them out anymore but that's like a thing that we had as kids right you could get one of those and, and play with them and the stint actually uh, reminds me a lot of uh, of those things they're they're weaved like that and at the very top and at the ends, they have these little hooks, and and there's like a whole bunch of them around the around the top part and then on the bottom parts. And they they run that they have a tool that they run that through, and then they turn it and the, and it expands and those hooks come in and grab on the in part inside part of that inner artery. They bring it down, get it situated, then they can set the lower hooks. And on my case, they will set, they will put the one in, and then on the other side, they will open that side up, and that one goes into the the other one that's pre-existing, and then and they lock them together, and then that way you have your covering on both sides and up into the uh, uh, the aorta part. So, uh, and, and if, if you notice where even the outside still might be a little bloated you the inside will be the one that carries the blood and the pressure so it uh, it holds it steady so I'm going to uh, let me bring this back down and uh, I'll make the transition again there we go so I hope this helped a little bit in, in letting you understand what this this is all about. You know, you hear about the AAA, the uh, abdominal aortic aneurysms, and what are they? And, you know, as in my case, it just isn't in the abdominal area. Mine's actually, actually they call it in the iliac, too. And uh, so this procedure here goes in and it puts a liner in, basically. And, uh, and it takes the pressure off the outside and you know, that way that threat of having that doing something you know you get in a situation where you have to strain a lot and maybe the pressure just decides to blow it uh, you're pretty much covered that way so like I said you know nobody wants to look forward to a surgeon or that but when you're having something done that's really going to help you it's like yeah you know even though it's uncomfortable I know I'll be there overnight. It takes it takes a couple weeks to uh, two weeks to like a month to really fully recover. But uh, you know, when you look at it this way, there's not a whole lot going on right now anyway. So I mean, if you had a time where you have to rest, and I'm sure by next month around this time, it's I don't think it's going to be a whole lot better just yet. I, I don't. It's not. This isn't going to be a fast deal. This, uh, this um, coronavirus deal. It's it's not a quick thing that we're just going to. Oh, you know, we're done. Thank goodness. We're going to have to toughen up a little bit. But we'll, like I mentioned in part one, we'll get through it. You just have to uh, hold steadfast. You know, uh, be strong. And, you know, kind of basically do what they tell you to do. We've got experts that, you know, at times you go, well, they don't know what they're doing. But, you know, they're behind the scenes. You have no idea what's going on. So, you know, we just uh, stick together. That's what we have to do. 
We have to look out for one another. We have to care about one another. And we have to stick together and we have to follow the rules. You know, as tough as it is, I don't want to follow the rules. Well, you might end up dying if you don't, you know. Or in some cases now, you never know, you might end up in jail, huh? I mean, that's a possibility. So, you know, just use your common sense and uh, like I said, we'll, we'll get through it and get on the other side and uh, say, hey, we did this together, you know. Okay, I, I hope this video helped. And, uh, you know, as always, like I said, take care of one another. Uh, be good. Watch yourselves out there, you know. Uh, this isn't a time to be silly. You know, you got you to gotta kind of like straighten out and, and fly right, all right? Okay, everybody. Have a great day, and, and we'll, we're going to be back here real soon. Uh, we're going to start working on the uh, Xena. Okay, take care, everybody. Goodbye.